Um, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Midnight Who Extra, where we talk about Doctor Who and a bunch of other nerdy stuff that we like. And today, I'm talking Preacher, which is a AMC TV show. And it's a very interesting show. It's definitely one that's a little bit on the weird side of things. But I really liked season one, but we never really got to talk about it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to talk season two with you guys. So, season one, let's just quickly talk about it because, you know, I didn't review it here on the channel. I really liked season one. Um, it was a little dragged on a little bit in parts of it, but it was very good. The characters were very good. It had some wacky scenes, which I liked. And honestly, it was a very good show. I was pleasantly surprised. It really didn't look that good. Now, we're on season two finally, and their big mission this year is the search for God, because in last season one's finale, it learned that God is missing. So this season we get to see it, but they're also being chased by the Saint of Killers, which is a very bad dude. I'll say dude. Better than cussing on the channel, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's quickly talk about all three episodes. So this video is going to be all about the first three episodes, and then week by week I'll just keep talking about individual episodes. I'm not sure how I'm going to review Preacher yet, because I've never... I want to make it different from our Doctor Who reviews, where we just do a summary of all the entire episodes and then blah, blah, blah. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll figure it out. By next week, you'll see my format, what I decide. To, but let's just talk about the first three episodes, which I believe were called On the Road, Moom Mumbai, Sky Tower, I think, and Damsels. So all three of these episodes were amazing. But what was the big thing about episode 1 and 2 that made me just can't wait to see what, where the saying of killers go was the first two scenes where we get introduced to him, kind of, in each episode. So in the first episode, he guns down a whole bunch of officers who are stopping the preacher and the gang. And he's ruthless. He was just bang, 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 all of them gone. And then episode 2, it was him versus a whole bunch of basically gun association members who were at the hotel where the preacher, Tulip and Cassidy was staying and it really kind of cements him as this the bad dude who's gonna the, like, he's like a western kind of character who's just riding into town and trying to stop the preacher and i'm really actually excited to see where this goes because those were some crazy scenes with him how you can't he can't be stopped and then he just shrugs off does this and the bullets just fly off of him so i'm really excited to see what the stand of killers is all about and where it goes in the future of the show now, also what was interesting about episode two was one of my favorite scenes. It was not, it was one of those scenes that just made me like, I'm really, this is a nit scene that's going to make you laugh. And it was where this guy, whose arm is beaten, is gone. He's all bleeding because he just got attacked by the Santa Killers. He has some money and he's trying to get a root beer. And he didn't get the root beer. And that scene just dragged on perfectly enough to make it cement it as just this wacky off the wall scene. Episode 3, we get to learn what happened to Eugene after the preacher set told him to go to hell. And he's literally now in hell. And hell in this show so far is a lot different than you would think of hell. You know, you think of fire and all that. And this is a more... I don't know what to describe it. It's like a prison. Hell is a prison <laughs> in this. And you also get to see more of his origin. You get to see what happened to him. How he became who he is. And if you don't know what Eugene, who Eugene is, here's his picture. So yeah, I really liked it. It's a very tragic, actually, a very tragic way that happened to him. Also in episode three, you get a little bit more about Tula, what happened, what she, kind of kind of more about her a little bit. You get to see a little bit more about her and Tula and Preacher's relationship. So you get a lot more of that in the season so far. So you get to see more of that. Because it's kind of was hinted, <clears throat> it was hinted a lot in season one, but now you get to see it full blown because they're on the road. Cassidy in episode two was amazing. He was probably one of my favorite parts of episode two. And actually, he's probably my favorite part of all the episodes. He's just amazing. And the preacher. Of course, he's the preacher. And he is Genesis, so he can just command people. And you get to see him use that power a lot more in this. And I don't think Tulip doesn't really like that he uses it. She kind of just kind of shrugs it like he shouldn't use it. And he's like, you want me to use it? Use it kind of thing. And he definitely uses it. So I'm glad... We get some more of that. So yeah, let's see. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Was there anything else? Okay, I think that's about it. I really did 
I really liked the first three episodes. It got me definitely excited to see where the season two heads into, and just because it's the search of God, and I kind of just curious where that goes because they know they learned through each of these episodes that God loves music, kind of. So they're now using that, and that's where they keep going in their locations. But of course, they're being chased by that saint of killers, which is definitely going to hunt them and torment them and trace them down because he's not afraid to kill anyone in his path, honestly. <laughs> and also the show uses some really good direction, by the way. The show has a really good, like, direction, how it directs the characters, directs the scene. It's very unique in parts, and I really like it. So yeah, Preacher Season 2 is getting on to a very good start. I cannot wait to see where it heads, and I really can't wait to just see more episodes of Preacher. I really do like the show, and I, uh, I think it I think it lasts, I think there's 13 to 16 episodes. I'm not sure how many of the season, but I think they split it. So yeah, I can't wait. And we'll hopefully review all the episodes of Preacher this season. I really hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you did see any of these episodes, tell me in the, in the comments below. And you can, of course, like this video. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone.